is a problem. I wouldn't have made a video about it if I didn't feel like it was an issue that needed to be addressed. I'm not worried about nothing, I'm just living my life. I'm not worried about nothing, taking it one day at a time. I'm not worried about nothing, no, 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 no. I'm free as a bird in a fire. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'm going to discuss five things that you shouldn't do or say to a short person. There's definitely a lot more, but these are just five that kind of bother me. Little backstory. I am four foot eight and a half inches tall. Please don't forget my half inch. Clearly I have been short my entire life. I have heard and seen it all. And some people just lack tact. They don't know. So, this video is for those individuals. Nothing that I'm saying is in any particular order. They're all equally important. But I'll number them just because it helps. Number one, the short jokes. Super lame. Super lame. I've been around a long time. I've heard every short joke that you can possibly think of. So when you greet me and the first thing you start off with is a short joke, I automatically assume something is wrong with you. I didn't greet you and start off with a joke about a physical attribute. We've heard them all. Don't tell short people short jokes. They're not funny. You're not the first person they've heard it from. You're probably like the thousand. And then the people that tell you a short joke every time they see you, and then they're shocked when you're not giggling. People really think you're supposed to just be tickled pink when you hear these super lame jokes. If you see a short person, don't try to be a comedian. We won't find you funny, period. Number two, don't touch us. I'm a grown woman. Don't come up to me and think it's okay to rest your arm or your elbow on my head. In what world is that okay? That's like if I go up to a person with a big belly and rub it. You don't do that. Like, what is wrong with you? And people, I don't, I don't know. They see a short person, I guess they feel like you don't have to respect our boundaries. You're supposed to respect the boundaries of a child. You don't walk up to a five-year-old child and just touch them. You don't do that to people. So why do you think it's okay just because we're short? Pat your head, you're the perfect size. I've been had to snatch people's hands like if you don't get your, if you don't get your hands off of me, you literally just put your dirty hands in my clean hair. Don't do that. It makes no sense. Do not touch us in any way, shape, or form. Capiche? Capiche. Three, don't ask if we're a midget. The proper term is dwarf or little people. A little person, there are certain attributes that they have. They usually have like a larger head and their limbs are short. I'm completely proportionate. I'm just short. So don't ask me if I'm a midget. Don't ask a midget if they're a midget. That's not politically correct. Midget is a condescending term. And then people try to say it as a joke. Why would you do that? To ask a short person if they're a midget, your ignorance is showing. It's like, congratulations, you have no class. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't ask us if we're midgets, because I'm not. Four, don't say anything negative about our height. I can't change my height. There's, there's nothing I can do about it. Don't come up to me like, ooh, I wouldn't want to be that little. I wouldn't want, ooh, ugh. Because if I flip the script and I started talking about you, like, ooh, I wouldn't want to be bald here then I'm the problem. If you can't take it, don't dish it out. People talk about your size and stuff, and it's like, you're 10 of me, and I wouldn't want to look like that. So, congratulations, we in the same boat. We don't want to look like each other. And lastly, don't assume a short person is incapable of doing something just based on their height. And I'm not even talking about physical things. If someone's on a top shelf, and I'm going to grocery store, I'm asking, excuse me, excuse me. I'm asking somebody. And people don't have a problem. Like, you know, they get it for you. Whatever. That's not what I'm talking about. I feel like people look at you, and I don't know, they think because you're small, your brain is small. Literally, people make assumptions about you based on your height. Like, why are you shocked that I'm able to do certain things? I've had people shocked that you're able to, like, hold a conversation. Oh, I wasn't expecting that out of you. Huh? So my height affects my ability to communicate. My height affects my, my brain function. People kill me. People take me out on a regular basis. All because of my height. Something I can't change. I can go on for like two hours about all the ignorant things that people have said. The lack of boundaries that people have when it comes to 
just me being small is really astounding especially when it's done in a professional setting if some kids came oh you're short you know yeah I'm, I'm this height yeah you get me you about my size but when you're a grown man or you're a grown woman leading with short jokes I automatically lose all respect for you because I think you lack tech, you lack class, and you generally don't have common sense. But I do understand common sense is a flower that is not grown in every garden, so I let people slide, but not always. Sometimes I do have to check people. If you've been guilty of any of these things, it's fine. It happens. But once you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and comment on this video, and tell a friend or three or four or five, don't do any of this stuff ever again. I'm free as a bird, so Thanks for watching. I go.